Further to our last video on the Palazzo de Wealth, a cool little picture here with all the colours, I want to go over a couple of sections uh, individually. The first section we'll go over today is the pillars of investment. So I'm going to bring this one here, a bit closer to you, so you can stop that video and have a look. So our pillars there are discounted buying, asset banking or land banking, positive cash flow and development. And that's the four pillars. So why do we choose those four pillars? Well, firstly, we should always buy at a discount. Every time we want to buy a property, we want to get the best price and the highest discount possible. And that is one section in the property cycle where we can actually transact. Positive cash flow, okay? People don't have enough positive cash flow. They need more positive cash flow. So that's an area that is vital to portfolios in property or anything else. You've got to have cash flow. You can't just work on growth, otherwise you've got to feed it all the time. You've got to have cash flow. Asset banking or land banking, that's buying with upside. So that's buying in an area where you could possibly do something with and maybe you don't do something with it. So you could add a granny flat, but you don't. You get it at a discount and then you sell it on later with the ability to add a granny flat and you still haven't. So it's an easier sale. Uh, it can be something that you do at a later time. Um, it's just about buying with a plan to do something with it. And then development, well, that's pretty straightforward, right? That's development. Well, it's not really. Like development can include anything from a reno, right? Right through to a land subdivision or townhouse development or whatever it might be. So development is not just land development or townhouse development. It's anything from reno. It does include that granny flood in that example. It's about changing the use of that property. And so there's the four pillars there. And they sit on top of your fundamentals, which is all your insurances and your planning and your wills and your reserves and that sort of thing. And that's where your pillars sit on top of them. When we come to the next section, which we'll talk about in the next video, is, well, then how do you decide which one of these pillars to, to act on? And where should you do that? Where should you buy a positive cash flow? Where should you do uh, a development? All that sort of stuff. So we'll come to that in the next video. So that's the reason why we've chosen those four pillars and they are the core to our clients' portfolios is discounted buying, positive cash flow, asset and land banking, and development. And that's the four pillars that make up our Palazzo de Wealth and it's also a big part of our Zenium group.